Good morning, church. There is a lot going on here at Tri-County, and we'd like to fill you in on some of those things. First, the Daystar Bible Institute has the week of Labor Day off, and then we're starting a new class on September 13th that week. The class is on the New Testament epistles. And you might think, I already know all the epistles, I've read them all many times, I know what they're about. Well, if that's true, then you could tell me right now what the book of Galatians is about. Thinking about that shows us that maybe we're familiar with parts of those books, but we don't understand the whole book. We can't say, what is this book about? And that's what our class is for. So please sign up for the new Daystar class starting September 13th. Michelle Prinzing directs our congregational care, and she has this message for us. This month we're talking about some things that are very important to the life of a church, and probably nothing more important really than loving one another. Uh, congregation care. And um, there's nothing that uh, makes me happier than when I call some people or maybe make a visit on someone in our church and I find out that there are others, whether it be deacons, just other people in the church, and especially our congregation care team members. I find out that uh, these people who maybe are isolated because maybe they've been through surgery or they're having some kind of illness or they are just unable to get out anymore. But someone in our church, our congregation care team members, have reached out to them, whether it be a phone call or a visit, or they brought soup by, something like that, sent them a card, something like that. The people in our church that um, experience that, um, they're reminded of the love of God through our congregation uh, members, and uh, it's, it's a blessing. So, uh, Michelle heads up our congregation care teams and she's going to talk to you a little bit about how you can be a part of that. We really need this morning, this month, for you to consider maybe being a part of our congregation care teams. And uh, she's going to tell you a little bit about that, how you can be a part of that, find out more. And so, Michelle, tell us about that. Yeah, well, just as the deacons have been assigned a group of people according to their last names, so the congregation care team members are also assigned that same group. And you've seen that list of that chart in the bulletin. You've seen it on the prayer email. We try to keep that out there all the time. Um, so what we would like to do is invite anyone who would like to be a part of that team to join us. Um, there is a welcome card, of course, in your bulletin, and there'll be a place for you to mark that you'd like to be a part of that team. Um, we're gonna meet on September the 27th, it's a Monday at 11.45, and that will be right after the Daystar class. We'll have a light lunch. We're really just gonna discuss ways that we can do a, a great job of caring for the people within this church, because God wants us to love. And so if we love each other here, then we can take that love out into the world as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the 27th. Also, Grief Share will begin on Thursday, September 16th in the Daystar Room. It's a great ministry. If you want to find out about it, you can see me after the service or get more information in the Welcome Center and you can sign up there for our Grief Share ministry. You'll find more events there as well as in our worship guide and online on our Facebook page or the church website. Our final announcement this morning is a video from our missionaries to Nicaragua, the Edgars. We are Bruce and Laura Edgar. We are in our fourth term of service with ABWE, the Association of Baptists for World Evangelism. While our kids, Peter and Emma, grew up in Nicaragua, they are currently studying in the U.S. Peter is a second year grad student at the University of Alabama and Emma is a senior at Florida Southern College, majoring in communications. I am currently serving as the church planter coordinator and involved in training and mentoring Nicaraguan pastors. The Institute of Church Planters began in 2008 and now partners with three Nicaraguan church associations. Men come for three days each month for two years to receive training in the process of planting a church and then implement what they have learned between sessions. 
graduates of the program are invited to return four times a year to receive continuing education courses in theology and topics like counseling, leadership, and marriage. Since 2008, seven classes have graduated and over 50 churches have been planted. We also come alongside our graduates by visiting, mentoring, and encouraging them as they serve in their communities. We also have opportunities to serve with our Nicaraguan partners to do marriage seminars, baptisms, evangelistic camps, and teaching on different topics. Vocational training in beekeeping is another way we come alongside pastors in rural areas. They have the opportunity to be trained in the care of the hives and the honey harvesting process. Each bee project is started with two hives and has the possibility of exponential growth. The honey produced gives pastors a bit of supplemental income for their families and the church. Nicaragua is a country that's been in nearly constant crisis with very little time in between for recovery. The past year has brought many challenges and great opportunities. We are able to share the soap and hope with many churches in different parts of Nicaragua. Over 2,000 families heard the gospel and received packages of food. This was made possible by over $20,000 in donations. We could tell countless stories of how God provided during this time. Another challenge we faced was due to Hurricanes Eta and Iota that hit the northeast region of Nicaragua within two weeks of each other. We were able to send hurricane relief in the way of food, clothing, and other supplies to the affected areas. Because of these efforts, a new church is being planted in northeastern Nicaragua. To God be the glory. Although many short-term teams were canceled during the pandemic, we are encouraged that they are rescheduling for 2022. We enjoy hosting multiple short-term teams each year. They work alongside Nicaraguan church plants to help establish them in their communities. Whether it's VBS, sports camps, day camps, or door-to-door -door evangelism. We are so grateful for the faithful prayers and support of so many of you who partner with us. It is our joy to serve as an extension of your ministry in Nicaragua. Now, let's enjoy our worship time together as the choir sings a medley on the goodness of God. <laughs> 